Hello and welcome back to another Pixel Game Maker tutorial. Today is a Patreon request from Ronaldo who wants to see how to spawn enemies from outside of the camera. So with that said, let's get started. All right, so here I am in my Mega Man sample project. You can get this on my itch page, Samples Pack 3, just found right here. You can just download it real quick and find out what's going on. When you open it up, it's a complete game, so you're going to have to kind of find where to go. You'll go to the Planet 2, you'll go to this P2S6, put a start uh, scene right here. Go to objects, click on the player, and just put the player just right in here. And so what's going to happen is when you play test here, it's going to put you in this area where when you jump on here, you'll start to spawn these right facing, right moving, or sorry, left moving ones and right moving ones of these little wisps. And basically you just, you can shoot them or, or try to get through them however you want. But that's just basically what this, this level is, is providing. And so we're going to show how to do that real quick. All right, so in this scene, you'll see that we have two spawner objects. They're actually the same object. They just have different actions. One starts on weight left, and then one starts on weight right. Now, it's, it's pretty simple on how these are actually set up. There's actually multiple ways to set this up. This is just how I did this one. I basically put it in the middle of the camera, and then if we right-click on one and go to Edit Base Object and go to Basic Setting, you'll see that they are fixed relative to the camera. So because the scene camera starts right here, and these objects are in the middle of that camera, they're always going to be with that camera, which is really nice. It's gonna stay in the middle of the camera no matter where it's at in the scene, all right? And that's because of this option again. So now if we go to the actions here, you can see that the weight right, it turns on an object self spawn from right switch. This was just a created switch right here. And all this does is designate whether it's a spawn from left or a spawn from right. So right here in this link, it's looking for after a certain amount of time, and it's looking for the spawn from the right. So that's the only difference. Where this one is looking for the, I have it on, but you can see that I have the opposite, the opposite gray switch right here. So I'm actually looking for if it's off. So this one's if it's on, this one is if it's off. And actually we don't even need to check for this. We could just make this one be the first one, but again, development gets a little crazy and you stop, you don't really think of these things um, in the moment. So anyway, uh, moving on, you can see that all it is, is just a, after a certain amount of time passes, it's going to spawn. So if we're spawning from the left, we generate an object, we're going negative 180, meaning that we're going half a camera width this way. So the X of that spawn is going to be right here. And then if we're spawning it from the right, we're going about 200-ish, and that's because the camera's moving, so I wanted it to be a little bit, um, a little bit um, before the camera. And so what's going on here is that it's taking this right here and it's adding 200. So it's actually spawning about right here from the camera at every point in that level, in that particular level, all right? And so that's what it's doing. So now let's just take a look real quick at this wisp right here. This, it's a E2 E wisp spawn, it's r just right here. But this one is um, starting it in its left S6 action. This one, as you can imagine, is starting it in its right S6 action. So if we go over here, let's just take the uh, right S6, for example. The first thing that it's doing when it generates is it's changing its Y coordinate. So it's taking its object's Y coordinate and it's equaling it to a random amount. So it's going from 40 to 120, all right? And let's just make sure that the S6 is doing the same thing. Yes, it is. It is doing the 40 through 20. And then after that, basically it sets some other stats and then the movement starts. That's on both of them. So in the scene here, we're basically saying from 40, so about right here to 120, this is going to be the random output of its Y. So we're spawning it left 180, but then we're spawning it Y 20 to 140. And then the same on the right, we're spawning it plus 200. And then we're spawning it on the, four, on the uh, 20 to the 40. All right, so that's how we get that random spawn every second. And it's on a different Y and it's in front of the camera or it's on the sides of the camera, I should say. And so, yeah, that's basically it. That's all you really need is just a simple spawner. The X can be set by the spawner like I do in this particular one. The Y can be set in the, for this particular platform game, the Y can be set in the generated object itself. This could also be scripted. This could be a plugin. There's so many different ways that you can make a generated 
a thing like this, but this one is easy and it's all visual scripted. And so anyway, I hope this video helped you out. If there's any questions, comments below, Steam Forms Discord, we'll get you figured out. That said, I'll see you at the next video.